Herzlich willkommen und ein fröhliches Hallo von eurem Herringway. Wir spielen Virtue's Last Reward weiter. Und bevor wir hier jetzt endlich mal die Launch verlassen, würde ich ganz gerne noch an der Stelle verkünden wollen, dass, wenn ich diese Aufnahme tätige, ich jetzt das allererste Video zu diesem Let's Play freigegeben habe. Beziehungsweise am gestrigen Tag war das. Ich nehme das jetzt mehr oder weniger, naja, am frühen Nachmittag auf. Ist ja im Endeffekt auch egal. Ähm, ich wollte jedenfalls sagen, danke für die bisherigen Kommentare, die dazu eingetrudelt sind. Danke für all die Leute, die das Ganze hier sehr wohlwollend bislang aufgenommen haben. Auch wenn es bisher nur ein Part war, den ihr im Endeffekt angucken konntet. Aber ja, das hat mich schon mal an der Stelle sehr gefreut. Und ähm, ja, ich hoffe, dass ihr das Let's Play weitestgehend wirklich genießen könnt. Äh, die Krux an der Sache ist, ich werde äh, insbesondere, weil ich ja auch irgendwie will, dass die Parts so ungefähr eine halbe Stunde lang gehen, ich werde relativ weit im Voraus aufnehmen müssen. Das heißt, ich werde nicht, ähm, ich werde im Let's Play nicht immer schnell auf irgendwelche Dinge reagieren können, die ihr vielleicht äh, ja wissen möchtet oder die ihr erklärt bekommen möchtet oder die ihr gezeigt bekommen möchtet oder wie auch immer. Seht es mir an der Stelle deshalb einfach nach. Ich kriege das sonst, ich kriege das freizeittechnisch einfach nicht anders hin. Es tut mir leid. Also ich kann nicht äh, so ein Part aufnehmen und den dann direkt am nächsten Tag freischalten. Das funktioniert nicht, wenn ich arbeite. Also ich hoffe, man, dass man es trotzdem genießen kann und äh, dass wir uns irgendwie auf einer gewissen Basis verständigen können. Wenn, ich irgendwie, wenn ihr irgendwelche Fragen habt oder so, ich versuche in den Kommentaren darauf einzugehen sofern äh, mir was auffällt, beziehungsweise sofern ich etwas dazu sagen kann. Manchmal ist es ja oftmals auch so, dass äh, vielleicht dann irgendwie Fragen gestellt werden zu Sachverhalten, die dann eben erst später im Spiel irgendwann relevant werden. Und dann scheue ich mich natürlich auch davor, irgendwie gewisse Dinge zu spoilern, weil ich mir so denke, ja, warte halt noch zwei Stunden ab und dann hast du die Antwort sowieso. Also, mh, ja, gut, okay, aber wir werden das schon irgendwie hinkriegen. Ansonsten, ihr seid herzlich gerne eingeladen. Ähm, sowas finde ich dann eigentlich auch immer mit am schönsten. Das erfreut mein Herz dann im Endeffekt, wenn ich mir die ganze Arbeit gemacht habe. Ähm, ihr seid herzlich dazu eingeladen, in den Kommentaren ein bisschen zu spekulieren und so. Insbesondere, wenn ihr das Spiel halt noch nicht kennen solltet, dann finde ich das eigentlich immer noch mit am interessantesten, wenn Leute so ihre Gedankengänge zu diversen Dingen hier einfach so schreiben und ähm, ja ihre, ihre Gedanken so ganz kurz vielleicht in, Schrift, in Schriftform verewigen. Das ist dann auch für nachfolgende Generationen vielleicht ganz interessant, die sich die, diese Videos vielleicht erst in ein, zwei Jahren angucken oder so. Ähm, ja, könnt ihr machen, wenn ihr wollt, müsst ihr aber nicht. Ihr könnt das Ganze auch irgendwie so genießen, wenn ihr da Bock drauf habt. So, wir wollen jetzt jedenfalls den Raum verlassen, denn wir haben den Schlüssel bekommen und den packen wir doch jetzt einfach mal dort hinein. The thing that keeps the door locked. It says lock. Okay, I'm gonna put the key in. You ready? I keep telling you, you don't have to ask every single... I'm not asking you. I'm asking Luna. Oh, I'm... Uh, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Luna ist definitiv ein etwas dankbareres Publikum. Ich glaube, das kann man so festhalten. Schön. You found it. Der Ausgang ist damit geöffnet. Ja, und wir können weiter voranschreiten und befinden uns jetzt dort oben in der Ecke. Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? Don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Looks like Alice, Clover, Kay. And Dio, Quark and Tenmyoji. Und da sind sie alle wieder beisammen. What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. Oh, sure. Ja, jetzt wird im Endeffekt nur nachgezeichnet, wie die anderen gelaufen sind. Es ergibt schon irgendwie Sinn. 
Also auch die anderen Gruppen, unterm Strich ist ja alles im, ha ähm, im Warenhaus, im Gebäudekomplex, in dem wir uns befinden, miteinander verbunden und alle Wege führten schließlich hierher. Ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. That's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. That's so. We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Hmm. Na gut. Dann fahren wir halt ein bisschen Fahrstuhl. Scheinbar passen alle rein. Und wir landen wo? What the? Oh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Lock, huh? Yeah, won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh, no, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh. Yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours. Six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe on the launch. Here are a few more routes for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I carried keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Ah, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <sighs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. Dio macht sich scheinbar sehr beliebt bei den anderen. Aber gut, okay, er scheint schon die ganze Zeit so ein bisschen auf Krawall gebürstet zu sein, insbesondere gegenüber Tamiyuchi. Aber naja. Gut, ja, uns bleibt nichts anderes übrig. Also rennen wir wieder zurück zu unserem Ausgangsort, Ursprungsort. Zum, ja, Startpunkt. 
Das läuft jetzt übrigens alles komplett automatisch ab. Und scheinbar gehen wir komplett durch die Launch zurück. Also wir alle zusammen. So, this is the lounge. It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out. Some of your favorite scotch. Oh, ho. Uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were their buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the nonary game. And if Quark was calling Tamiuchi Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seem to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. Eine sehr interessante Frage, die wir uns an der Stelle stellen dürfen. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. And you can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But are are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. Worüber auch immer die genau quatschen. Aber na gut, okay. Auch die beiden scheinen sich also zu kennen. Interessant. Auch gänzlich andere Voraussetzungen, wenn man sich das mal so überlegt. In Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors waren wir als Hauptperson Junpy im Endeffekt mit ähm, June alias Akane verbunden. Wir kannten sie. Und die anderen kannten sich... Na doch, nee, Clover und Snake kannten sich. Sie waren ja Geschwister. Hm. Naja. Trotzdem, irgendwie, also man sieht gewisse Parallelen, aber auch gewisse Unterschiede. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger and you're awfully close to pulling. <laughs> so I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise, well, you really need me to spell it out. I forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we've got all so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yes, yes, yes. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's... Ambidex supposed to mean anyway. I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands instead of favoring the left or right, but it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. It's a game of betrayal then. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The Nonary Game is a game where you try to open the number 9 door and escape. The Ambidex Game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is it? 
Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think, Eo? Uh, arrogant little bastard. <laughs> Well, that's just how I am, so you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AV room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. Kay, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tamiochi. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who'd go into which door, and Fi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head in too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay. Okay. Da will man nur höflich sein. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? What? 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 What the hell? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is, just get everybody over here! Yeah, right. Hey! Guys! Guys, get over here! We found someone! There's a... a lady over here! She's unconscious! I didn't wait for a response, just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was... Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for pulls. No movement, just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Quark, don't look. Somebody get Quark out of here. Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then she's. Yeah. She's not breathing and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Does this look like an accident or suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. Übrigens, wem ist aufgefallen? Dieselbe Musik, dieselbe geheimnisvolle, dieselbe äh, relativ äh, durchdringende Musik wie in Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. Ähm, wenn wenn etwas Blödes passiert oder so, sagen, drücken wir es mal vorne ihm aus. Ähm, ja, wo kommt diese Frau her? Warum ist sie auf einmal da? Warum liegt sie da im Fahrstuhl? Wir kennen sie nicht, wir haben sie vorher noch nie gesehen. Die anderen 
Haben sie offenkundig bisher auch noch nicht gesehen. Fai hat jetzt einen interessanten Ansatz getätigt. Es gibt keine Waffe, aber eventuell könnte jemand mit ein bisschen Kraft und mit einem metallenen Arm vielleicht auch so eine Wunde irgendwie jemandem zugefügt haben. Hust, hust. Hm, Nachtigall, ihr könnt ihr trapsen. Das, das macht die ganze Situation jetzt nicht gerade einfacher. Dio, Kay and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the, to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Tamuji only stared. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point, but it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us, a smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were most, uh, we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tamiuchi hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we'd found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored and his movements slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Kennt Tenmyuji diese Frau? Vielleicht? Möglicherweise? In jedem Fall eine seltsame Reaktion. Irgendwas scheint er mit dieser Frau zu verbinden, ansonsten würde er nicht so reagieren. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old dry piece of wood. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed, as if we were afraid, afraid she might break. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she's just going to wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. You're a, a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover and I examine this entire room. So you think you can use it to perform, to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Dann viel Erfolg, Luna. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text. Most of it rather technical. Yeah, sex female, estimated age between 65 and 75 years, diagnosis deceased, cause of death, exsanguination, also sie ist verblutet. Estimate time of death, uh, yeah, for knapp 3-4 Stunden, damage, bla bla, weapon entered through 4th intercostal piercing heart. Also, yeah, sie wurde direkt im Herz getroffen. So, wound characteristics, aha, uh -huh, so, ja, da sieht man eben, wie groß die Wunde ist, bla 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 und so weiter. Conclusion. Based on the characteristics described above, there's a 95% 95 chance 
The wound was caused by a sharp single bladed instrument. Also Messer oder ähnliches. Sie wurde erstochen. Hätte man sich ja nicht denken können, nachdem man das gesehen hat. Aber na gut. Aber schön zu wissen, dass wir jetzt so ungefähr wissen, wie alt sie war. Und dass es vor drei bis vier Stunden passiert ist. Vor drei bis vier Stunden. Wann genau? Hm. Na gut, denken wir vielleicht später mal drüber nach. Hä? Huh? Ja. Yeah. I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? It's a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. Okay. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Hoppla. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still... You do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? in the master computer. That means all of the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. But now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. Das stimmt. Er hat bisher noch gar nichts gesagt dazu. Er hätte ja auch sagen können, Mensch, was macht ihr denn? Ihr müsst in die AB-Rooms und so weiter. Das Spiel muss doch losgehen. Aber er hat gar nicht darauf reagiert. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Jr., the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Jr. told us about the murder, then Zero Sr.'s identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Sr. murdered her. Justice planned. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well. There's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, 
Any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Whoa, what was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said, Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Yep. Und so kehren wir also zurück und lassen die alte tote Frau erstmal alt und tot sein. <lacht> und fahren mit dem Spiel fort. Ja, das ist tatsächlich etwas, worüber, uns jetzt, worüber wir uns jetzt im Folgenden aber eventuell Gedanken machen können. Wenn wir denn wollen. Oder so. Na gut. Ereignisse, unerklärliche Ereignisse, die sich ergeben. Unerklärliche Ereignisse, die uns eventuell aus der Bahn werfen sollen. Unerklärliche Ereignisse, die uns untereinander gegenseitig aufbringen sollen oder so? Fragezeichen? Wer weiß das schon so genau, was da jetzt tatsächlich dahinter steckte. Wir machen uns nochmal Gedanken dazu. Für den Moment legen wir dann aber erstmal wieder eine Pause ein. Und ja, das soll es dann einfach mal wieder gewesen sein. Ich hoffe, ihr seid beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei, wenn es weitergeht mit Virtual's Last Reward. Ich sag dann jetzt erstmal wieder Tschö mit Ö und hoffentlich bis ganz, ganz bald.